Hello there, I'm a member of the training team, and today I'm going to show you how to use the online patient intake form in our system. The purpose of this form is to make the new patient intake process more efficient. Filling out patient intake forms takes time, and practices usually have patients fill out their intake forms in the lobby of their office. This means that the lobby can get crowded and it increases the patient's wait time. Your practice needs to have a steady workflow process that saves you time and therefore lets you see more patients. A clogged lobby with patients filling out stacks of paper forms is therefore not an ideal situation. Your practice can use our system to send an email to the patient that allows them to click on a link and fill out their intake forms at home. If the patient fills out their intake forms online before they come in, then they do not have to wait in the lobby filling out forms nor do they have to remember to bring filled out paper forms. Create a patient account and take down the patient's basic information like you always should. You'll begin by taking down the patient's first and last name, their birthday, phone number, and their email. Then click on the Create button. Make sure that you take down their email address if you want to use this feature as you'll need to send them the link to their documents. Then click on the More button underneath the text field for so the patient's name, and click on Patient Portal. Click on the Generate New URL button. You will see a URL filled out in the URL field. Then, enter a password in the Password field. This password can either be made up by the patient while you're on the phone with them, or you can make up a password and provide it to the patient over the phone. Then click on Save Password. Once you have filled out the password and the link, click on the Email Link button. A smaller window will appear. The email address that the patient gave you when you opened their account should be filled out in the text field automatically. It'll ask you if you want to send the email to the address in the text field. You can edit the email address in the text field if you need to. Click Send to send the link and cancel if for some reason you no longer want to send them the link. The system will then send the email, and boldface text will appear at the bottom of the window to confirm that the email was sent to the patient's address. The patient will then receive an email in their inbox with a link to begin their intake forms. There will be two links, one at the top of the email for general use, and one at the bottom of it for patients with accessibility issues. The process will be the same regardless of what link the patient clicks on. When the patient clicks on the link, a new window will pop up and they will be asked to log in with the password that was created. They will then click on the Documents tab to begin filling out their forms. A new window will pop up asking them to fill out a new document or Review Filled Out Documents. For a new patient, they will select Fill Out a New Document and their intake form or forms will show up. The patient will then click on the name of the intake form to begin filling it out. Please note, filling out this document does not fill out their patient account. You will still need to transfer the info from the form to the patient's info and insurance tabs. The patient can then begin filling out their form. The first section on the form is the General Information section. When the patient clicks on this area, they will fill in all of their identifying information in the text fields and drop-down menus on this form. This information will include things like the patient's address, city, state, phone number, and email address. This section will also include their gender, weight, and height. The next section on the form is the About You section. 
This section will include information on the patient's employment and work duties. You also fill in their primary care physician. It will also include information on their marital status, spouse, and children. You will also fill in their primary insurance information, and if they have one, information for their secondary insurance. The About You section is followed by the General Health History section. This section includes information about the patient's overall health. The patient should fill out this section with information on their last physical, any health conditions they have, any surgeries they have had, medications they are on, injuries they have suffered, etc. The following section on this form is the primary problem section. The patient will describe the main problem that they have come to the provider for in this section. They should include the date the problem first occurred, how much pain they are in, if they have been treated for this problem before, how they have been treated for it, and when. In the health issues section, the patient will select what health problems they have had in the past six months by clicking on them. They will also select what major health issues their family members have had and provide more information on the family member and their condition in the text field. The patient can indicate the goals of their care in this section. There is an additional text field to include any additional health information that the patient feels the provider should know about. If you have low back pain, you should fill out this questionnaire. In the final section of this form, the patient will agree to the terms of treatment and sign the form. Our patient intake form allows a user to enter an electronic signature by using their mouse to sign the form in a way that mimics an actual pen. The patient can enter the date in the date field by clicking on it and selecting a date from the calendar that pops up. The date can also be edited by typing it in. In the case of a minor, their parent or legal guardian will sign the form in the consent to treat minor section. If the patient needs to erase their signature, they can click on the clear button to erase the signature. To erase the date, they can click on the date range field, highlight the date with their mouse, and press delete on their keyboard to erase it. When the physician signs off on the form, then it can no longer be edited and the fields cannot be erased. Once all the information has been filled out on this form, then select Save. The form is now available in the patient's account. As previously mentioned, the patient account is not filled out when the patient fills out this form. When the patient fills out this form and clicks on Save, the form is available in the patient account and someone in your practice can read the information on it and fill out the patient account. Please note, the form featured in this video is an example of one form that can be filled out in the patient portal. Other patient forms could be used in your practice, or you could use this form. Well, that's all there is to this video. We hope that you found it helpful. Goodbye for now and have a great day.